State regulators rather, are proposing new measures to increase water supply. Tonight, we're looking into the new water recycling process and how cost effective it is. So-called pure water projects will soon be responsible for most of the tap water in the city of San Diego. CBS 8's Jasmine Ramirez visited the city's facility to learn more about recycling water and how safe it is to drink. Some refer to it as toilet to tap, recycling wastewater into the water we drink. However, experts in the field say that phrase is anything but accurate. It's it never has been toilet to tap, right? It, that's never happened. We visited San Diego's Pure Water Project. It's in phase one of construction and will supply nearly half of the city's drinking water by the end of 2035. The water being recycled here goes through a rigorous process. We got to see it all happen at the demonstration site. Five different treatment steps. Doug Campbell is the deputy filters. director of Pure Water Operations. He took us on a tour. Water that goes down your drain and toilets eventually ends up at a wastewater plant where it's treated before it ever arrives to the Pure Water Project. Then it goes through ozone, biologically active carbon filters and membrane filters. They look like this, it's inside this tube. Then reverse osmosis. This is really the heart of the advanced water treatment process. And next, ultraviolet lighting. We tested out the drinking water for ourselves. Cheers. Cheers. We've done over 50,000 tests to ensure that the quality of the water is consistent 24-7, 365. The water at the Pure Water Project will then go to the Miramar Reservoir. This acts as an additional way to test and treat it. Now the state is looking to bypass this step, piping rigorously purified drinking water straight to the tap. This new direct process has its benefits. You know, we will double or triple the amount of purified recycled water. Andrew Salveson is an expert in the water recycling process. He says more extensive water treatment will be required under these new guidelines. The new method will use more energy, but can be cost effective in other ways. Imported water is only expected to get more expensive. It's important to note that it costs more money to move water than it does to treat water, right? Water is very heavy. San Diego's Pure Water Project will reduce the need to buy imported water. The city says they anticipate water rates to increase at a slower pace because of this. The new direct recycling method opens doors for cities located far from a reservoir. It allows them to have their own local water supply. This provides a dependable source as climate change threatens the quality and availability of water. The state is expected to finalize its draft for the new regulations by the end of the year, and San Diego has played a major role in the entire process. The San Diego efforts have uh, really been pioneering. Your Water Project's demonstration facility was used as a test site in creating the new regulations. It's really interesting. The state's criteria very closely matches what Pure Water San Diego has done. San Diego's North City Pure Water Facility near Miramar Road and the 805 is expected to be the first site in the state that follows this innovative five-step treatment process, a process that I'm told closely aligns with the state's new rules for direct water recycling. We'd be fairly well set to make that transformation. It could be considered in the next phase of the Pure Water Project. Pure Water has another phase to it, phase two, uh, which will include facilities in the central part of the city. So direct potable reuse might be considered um, for, for the next phase of care. Jasmine Ramirez, CBS 8. Thanks, Jasmine. And the city of San Diego's Pure Water Project won't be the first in the county. Oceanside's Pure Water Facility went online more than a year ago.